Hello and welcome to Thrive, a wellbeing podcast for the students of Alexandra College. The Teenage Perspective. Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about stress and anxiety. We are your hosts, Charlotte and Isabella and Emmy and producer Felicity. We chose this point as our subject for a reason. It's something that is so quickly overlooked, but we are here to make sure that it's noticed. Young people's mental health can spiral so quickly nowadays, and it's important to be aware to know what to do or how to help. We'd like to spread the word throughout the Thrive podcast to alert people what could be going on inside anyone's head. Stress. Stress is defined as a state of mental or emotional strain slash tension resulting from adverse or demanding circumstances. Using this description, it makes sense why most people will get stressed from everyday life. People constantly demand things from them, and sometimes it's hard to keep up. Anxiety. Um, Anxiety is a feeling of unease, such as worry or fear, that can be mild or severe. There are many different signs of anxiety. For example, feeling lightheaded or dizzy, pins and needles, being restless, faster breathing, or headaches. Why it matters. Anxiety and stress is something that is becoming more and more present in younger people. Anxiety can be caused from stressful events that could involve moving house or schools. Study nowadays have proven that over 38% of female students develop anxiety while in teens and 26% of male students have anxiety while in secondary school. Charlotte, what would be your experience in life with anxiety and stress through your daily? I think I can relate to this and I think most people can also relate to this, but with like tests mainly, um, how every day like someone tells you you got a test for a subject or something, like I know I've got two tests this week, um, and they can kind of be sprung on you, and then it's all this stress, like you got to do after school activities, and then you got to study for a test, and then you got homework as well that's due for a different subject, and it all kind of builds up, and it's it's sometimes just like too much, and I think most students can relate to that, like in everyday life. How about you? I would say about the same, but also I find it kind of hard just being maybe a five day boarder trying to make it home every weekend, it being kind of complicated with random days off throughout the year. I know they're nice and all, but having a Monday off can also be confusing for my schedule. Um, I think what Charlotte said about the tests and everything is like, it's it's like, I can like relate to that as well. It's like, oh my God, you have to study for this. And then like s- sometimes teachers w- w- would only give you like maybe a day or two before then they like say, okay, then the next test will be like, on Thursday and we're like oh my god I feel a bit stressed when I'm doing like tests or exams because like it's a lot of pressure and it like I'm scared if I don't do good on the tests like my parents are gonna be like mad at me or something yeah I think that's very real like Even, like, end-of-year exams, it can cause a lot of stress. And I know, like, I keep thinking about it in the way where it's, like, this is only first year. It doesn't, like, it matters, but it's it's still a test and it's still, like, something that's going to be on your report and everything. Um, But I feel like that's, it it can build up a lot. And then for... um, for some exams it, it just kind of is sprung on you and it I know you know about it like from the start of the year but it still feels like oh suddenly it's it's time for like the final test and then it's the fear of like failing that and then it's and it's setting you up for doom for a second year and everything so it, it, it can all kind of build up like that and it's it's not nice <laughs> You can also experience like stress and anxiety from friendships and stuff. I think sometimes it's it's just another thing that's added on and it can be like a fight or something, um, an argument that's going on or like gossip that's being spread or something. And that can kind of just add on to everything and that just makes it all worse because then you got to deal with it in like social light as well. And it's you got to like present to other people that you're fine, this isn't true, oh... Um, we're still, like, best friends and stuff, but that's, like, not the case. It's kind of, like, the inside um, story where it's it's something different that's going on like that. And I think that just adds to the pile of things going on, and then it's, it's just building up and everything's kind of ready to collapse and everything. My experience is, like, a lot of the time, trios, friend groups with three people, like, don't really work, and it's kind of more just, like, a duo and then, like, an extra friend. Um... Which is, like, really bad. And it c- 
could like add like cause like stress to the person who's like left out all the time yeah yeah and it can also be but sometimes it also like changes around it like sometimes it's it's like oh these two are friends but then next day the other two are friends and then it's always like oh you're trying to include the other person but then it's how do you do that and not like shove off the other person it's it's like trying to manage the whole group and it's a nightmare <laughs> I personally have never been the most amazing at keeping friends at home because I'm never there. So when I go home now for like big holidays, I have to do activities or something to meet people or see people I haven't seen in a while to actually mend my relationships with them because I either do not have their number or just can't get in contact with them with my time. And it's just kind of complicated. I think that's very true with like with borders and everything kind of keeping your friends that are at home while still trying to like make new friends and everything it's trying to stay in contact with them but still move on so you're not completely homesick all the time and then it's when you are back you've always got to be like the first person to make a move be like oh do you want to meet up but then they're busy they've got other like activities going on um I think yeah that's another really good point like that and also like say if if your friends like or something and then like like literally if you're like really close with like one person and then that person's sick then you're like oh my god wait what do I do for the rest of the day because you're like um like what should I do and then like yes it, it, it would like kind of like pressurize you to like oh I don't want to like you know like be alone for the whole day and like everything like that have any of you guys dealt with stress and anxiety in the past coming into first year? Um, I dealt with stress when, like, the start of, like, when it was the start of first year. Um, I, like, was like, what if my friends aren't in the same form as me and we won't be friends again? And we weren't not only in the same form, but we had no classes together. Um, but we're still really good friends like we still go on sleepovers and we're fine I think that's a really fair point like it's kind of the stress of being separated from from like your best friends in the like last year like say you could have a best friend and it's just that one person and then suddenly you're separated you got no classes together and that's that can be really stressful like that I think that's a really fair point there are some positives to this Felicity do you find being in a different form that you have more friends now um yeah I made like way more friends it was pretty good that I got into a different form as my friend so then I can make more friends and she can make more friends. Exactly, it allows you to like open up and I think that's really good for for everyone like that because then you're able to kind of detach yourself detach yourself from that one person and you're able to you're able to like survive when they're off sick or something. How did you guys feel when you first came into first year and you felt like you had to fit in? How did you navigate that? Um well like I think it was a bit easier for me because I was in the junior school and I knew like half of the people who were actually going into first year and but um I know like it was like a lot harder for the new girls to like fit in everything especially the borders as well but um like I just like found well not like newfound friends but like I kind of like was like socializing more because like I knew that like my old friends like they were still there but like it's like always good to like you know open up I think it's kind of like finding your people your like pack like it's kind of that group of friends that you're like gonna stick with for these like next few years or it can even just be this year like it's it's just finding your people that you fit in with kind of who who's nice to you who challenge you who make you a better person in general um, I think for me, it was hard to, like, get more friends, but I was in the junior school, so it was a bit easier. But, um, like, the ad yeah, that I'm now really good friends with, like, we had one little conversation and then we became, like, best friends. Have you noticed that day school girls tend to stick together more than borders, or borders tend to stick with borders more than day school girls? I do think it's very different depending on your personality, but I have noticed in other forms that there's a lot of boarders who don't know a lot of day students in their form, because I have two friends in another form, 
and they really just talk to their roommates in those forms, which is always nice to keep a friendship, but I don't feel like they have many day student friends. How do you think that could change? I'm not sure. I think there'd have to be more, like, bondable activities, maybe. But it's not something entirely you can change in a day or a week. It's something you have to grow on. And how you've got to kind of release from your bubble sometimes. Yeah, Like, exactly. when people can't be there. Yeah. Has everyone had a really difficult day in first year that they felt like they couldn't really get over, but they have got over and overcome? I think as a boarder, at the beginning of the year, maybe like November time, it it was like really hard because at that point it was like all the fun and games were over and it's kind of, you realise that like you're kind of here in like a completely different country, like all alone. But that's not true actually, like you've got all those other people around you who are also going through the same thing but sometimes it just feels a bit lonely and then you got to get up go to school and deal with it still but I feel like you realize like over time that you're not alone in like this situation like you've got people all around you like the whole of the Hermione building is filled with people who are going through the same thing, who were away from their families for a whole week well weeks on end um even for five day borders like you're missing out on your parents every day until the weekend and that's always something to look forward to then but sometimes it just it just felt a bit lonely but you get past it and then it's and then it's smooth running and then it's quick and then um and you're back home like in a couple of weeks from now on it's it's only a week I think till we go home again and it's it's not hard at all now because you kind of learn how to cope with it and everything um i think the first day was like like the first like day that Alex was like very like nerve wracking because either like uh, I ha- hadn't met any of the new girls and then it was like coming back from summer as well so I hadn't like either like really talked to like any, any of my friends and I thought oh my god like what form am I going to be put into because like they have often actually work for me so I didn't know until was Hennis was calling out the forms I was like oh my god so that that day was like very nerve-wracking but but it was good because I like I, I t- talked to new people and everything and it was yeah it was nice I remember on the first day um I had to get to a class after PE I had signs which is halfway across the campus which was not fun to get to I had to ask my PE teacher where the science block was what class in the science block it was. I also have to ask where room three was. My brain wasn't working. I don't remember anything from that day, other than the pure embarrassment, but that's okay. I remember, um, so on the first day, I had geography, and then I just followed the girls there, and then on Wednesday I had geography again, and then I was like, where is geography? Because I forgot where it was. So then I was just going around the school and then I just like found it. I was like, oh, okay, there it is. I think on the first day it was all really good fun because everyone was, and no one really knew where everything was. It was kind of like a treasure hunt just with your form, like going around trying to find your classes, um, working out who you had classes with and and everything. It was all kind of, it was so fun that day. Like it was so stressful trying to get to where you needed to be. but it was also such like a nice bonding time when you were just going around with with all your classmates and everything trying to find your next cl- lesson because you have no clue where it was like in the senior school. Um, I remember that being like really fun. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the podcast. Is there any advice you would like to give to someone who's feeling like stressed or anxious? or? I feel like a really important point is... Um, that like you'll get through it that everything will come to an end it's it's not like it's gonna go on for the rest of your life like you can get through it and it sounds a a bit cringe like that but it it will come to an end eventually you've kind of just got to fight through it when I'm feeling stressed I just like listen to music and then I'm like fine I think it's always good to look up to like the sixth year prefects and your form tutor to tell them how you're feeling It just helps a lot when you express your feelings more than just thinking, oh gosh, I have that science test that I haven't studied for. It's really, it's easier to express your feelings. You're more likely to remember. It's very good for you. And also another thing is like, 
like just like calm down and like it's not the end of the world thank, thank you, you for, for listening, listening to our, our podcast, podcast the teenage, teenage perspective on thrive